Hi, I'm Brad Moon for Best Buy Canada's blog. Today I'm looking at the Sony PS LX300 Turing Table, which is an entry-level model in Sony's lineup, along with Sony's STR-DH190 receiver. Throw in a pair of speakers and the two make for a great audio system for music lover and record collector. Now the PS LX300 is one of the easiest to set up turntables you're going to find. In the box is the turntable with a removable dust cover, along with a 45 adapter, and a USB cable. Sony also includes Windows software that lets you rip your records to MP3s on a computer using that USB connection. Now even the drive belt comes already mounted to the platter. The only setup you have to do is to loop the drive belt over the motor spindle, and Sony makes that easy with a ribbon to pull the belt out just enough and a cutout in the platter. You don't have to worry about fussing with tone arm balancing, adjusting counterweights, or setting anti-skate controls. Once the platter's installed, all you have to do is put the mat on it, and this turntable is ready to play. So let's talk about what makes this an entry-level turntable. You can see a lot of plastic components. The RCA cable is hardwired so you can't replace it, and it's also quite short at just over two feet. The cartridge isn't something you can upgrade, although you can replace the stylus. There's no adjustable counterweight or anti-skate control. Now that being said, I was impressed with the queuing button which raises and lowers the stylus. I've seen too many entry-level turntables where this is almost spring-loaded. It makes it difficult to control with any precision, and in some cases it risks bouncing off the record, which can cause damage to both the stylus and the vinyl. The Sony PS LX300 is nice and smooth. This turntable is also equipped with automatic features, and you can see that when I push the button to end playing this record. And just an FYI, I picked yellow vinyl so you can actually see the stylus against the all-black color scheme. The PS LX300 has a built-in pre-amplifier. That means you can connect this turntable to a portable speaker system, but you'll probably need to pick up a female RCA to 3.5mm adapter to do that. Or you can use the phono output and connect to a receiver with phono input like the Sony STR-DH190. This is an ideal receiver for this purpose. First of all, it has phono input, which is obviously important if you want to connect a turntable. But you can also connect your smartphone or tablet via Bluetooth to stream music. It offers two-channel audio, which is perfect for listening to music. And with 100 watts per channel, you can get pretty loud with it too. If you've ever seen the back of a home theater receiver, you'll appreciate how straightforward this one is to set up and configure. There are also inputs for additional sources like a CD player, or you could hook up your TV to it as long as you're not looking for 5 channel or 7 channel surround sound. And here's what the Sony turntable and receiver look like together as a pair. Now this isn't an audiophile setup, and you'll still have to add a pair of speakers into the mix. But together, you get an affordable system that lets you enjoy listening to records with audio quality that's far better to what you'll hear in an all-in-one or portable record player system. If you really get into listening to records and decide later on that you want to upgrade to a new turntable, that receiver is still very capable and will make the most of any turntable you hook up to it. So that's more of an investment. To see the Sony PS LX300 turntable and Sony STR-DH190, along with a huge collection of record players, turntables, and receivers, be sure to visit Best Buy Canada. And to learn more about Sony's PS LX300 turntable, make sure to read my full review on Best Buy Canada's blog.